ever date a guy that you were sure was hiding something from you? Did you feel like he wasn't being on the level with you or he wasn't interested in pursuing a relationship with you? I'm about to uncover 12 signs that he's playing mind games with you right now. Hey everybody, I'm dating coach Ryan Patrick. So we've probably all been in a situation where we're dating someone and it just feels off. Now you were into them, but maybe they were holding back or making you work for their time and affection in some way. The truth is your intuition was probably trying to protect you from getting involved with someone who just wasn't right for you. Now your intuition is your best ally in being able to collect all those little signs a guy gives you when he's not being forthright with you or just isn't really ready to commit to you. So for those of you who have had exclusive relationships, you know in the beginning you feel great he feels great and things are just easy. Let's face it, there really isn't that much work in the beginning and you are naturally both coming to the conclusion that you both should be boyfriend and girlfriend or husband and wife. But when things aren't easy and you're not feeling great in the beginning, you're left wondering and doubting and all of these other things that just leave you feeling tired and unfulfilled. Now, to help you avoid getting stuck in this relationship quicksand, which is mind games and misrepresentation, I'm going to lay out 12 signs your guy is most likely playing games with you right now. The first sign is he rarely initiates contact. When it comes to mind games, it's gonna feel like he's one foot in and one foot out. This is especially true with his overall communication with you. So mind games start for a variety of reasons. He could be testing you or if he's on the fence about how he feels about you, he might not really be paying attention to his actions. Guys who like you want to see you and talk to you. So you definitely don't want to fall into that trap of initiating contact with him all the time. If you notice that he's not texting you or calling you much at all, then you really need to consider his level of interest in you. If he's serious about getting to know you, then this one should never be a problem. One way you can test to see if he'll correct this is put it on him to set up the next date with you. And you can prompt him in a variety of ways. And the easiest way to prompt him to do this is send him a text. Hey, I'm gonna be busy the next couple days, but you know, if you wanna look at next week to do something, I'm game. After that, if he takes weeks with you to set something up, it might be time to move on. Listen, guys who are excited about you won't do a great job hiding it. You wanna use your intuition and really hone in on his intentions if he's playing games with you. The second sign is he has a lot of excuses. Now some guys, when they first start dating you, they're gonna see what they can get away with. And unfortunately, they have no problem testing you to find out. If he's always busy or if he's evasive in making future plans with you, that might be a red flag. So if you notice this trend happening where it's excuse after excuse, you can pretty much bet that this type of guy is going to have an excuse for anything and everything under the sun. And the funny thing is his excuses are probably gonna sound a little too perfect or a little too rehearsed. Because just understand, he doesn't wanna lose control of the narrative with you. So guys that are forthcoming with you, they're not gonna have these excuses readily available. They're gonna get tripped up and at times they're gonna say, I don't know. So if you find yourself rolling your eyes all the time at the fact that he can't do things with you, you really have to consider if you're a priority to him or not. The third sign is he disappears regularly. So things are great and super connected one minute and then the next he goes completely dark for two weeks and you're like, what gives? Guys who aren't playing mind games with you will assure you on some level that he's into you and be available to hang out with you. Him pulling the disappearing act on you immediately tells you two things. Number one, you're not a priority. And number two, he's got things to do. Now sure, he can legitimately be busy with work or travel. But if that's the norm for him, you really have to ask yourself if you're okay with that. But this type of mind game is usually being executed by the guy who just doesn't have the heart to tell you that he's just not into you. And the best way to deal with this one is by pulling back on your investment with him and to keep your options open. He's probably not serious. Sign number four is he acts aloof. Now, I wanna make a disclaimer here. Some guys are just naturally aloof and cannot read women at all. So so the first thing you have to ask yourself is, can I deal with an aloof guy? And will he really be able to satisfy me emotionally? However, it is possible that he's acting aloof in order to manipulate you to believe that he's some sort of bad boy alpha. So essentially in his mind, he's thinking if he acts like he doesn't care about you, that in some way is gonna make you want him more. 
Thank you, pickup artists. This is one of the reasons I started this channel because there's so much bad information out there and I wanted to set the record straight. Now, in my younger days, in my early 20s, I even took courses from these guys, these pickup artist guys, and I had come to find out that they really had no clue what was going on with women. They were alone, they weren't in relationships, they definitely weren't married, and I was like, what am I doing? So it's possible these guys that you're dating have picked up one of these programs or another. Now, I'll admit, some guys do need to work harder to play it cool with you in the beginning. There's no question there. But when a person acts aloof with us, it basically is telling us that they have no interest in connecting with us. So just know this is probably the best you're gonna get from him. Sign number five is his praise comes with criticism. This is where those sort of backhanded compliments come into play. You know, your hair looks great, but your shirt sucks kind of thing. Guys who do this do not believe that you're worthy of unadulterated praise. Because surely something's wrong with you, he's thinking. And if a guy is going to compliment you, well damn it, it better be something that makes you feel good. Otherwise, it was totally selfishly given. If a guy's giving you the good with all the bad, all the time, it's possible that he feels inadequate in some way with you too. Look, if he's got one finger pointed at you, he's got three other fingers pointing right back at himself. Sign number six is he never shows you his cards. If you guys are two months in and he's still got his poker face on with you, something's probably up. If a guy likes you, he's gonna let you know relatively quickly, definitely not two to three months later. So then what's with all the secrecy and keeping you at arm's length? So the truth probably is he's got no cards to show because his feelings about you are quite low. Men and women only relatively need a short period of time to know if another person is right for them or good for them. So I would just say don't allow him to drag things on for months and months and have you constantly wondering where he stands. If it's been three months and he still has a neutral vibe with you, well, it's time to sit him down and ask him to lay down his cards and ask him how he actually feels about you. But if it's already gotten to that point with him, I think you already know that it's going nowhere with him and it's time to bail out. Sign number seven is he'll play the I have options game. If he's calling you the lucky girl and he has options and he chose you, that's a game. This is his way of imposing a semi-forced alpha male status on you. Guys who do this may have a low self-esteem or they're just trying to convince themselves that they're more of a catch than they actually are. Men who have options do not need to be going around to the women they're dating and telling them about those options. That's weird. And the truth is a connected relationship that's heading in the direction of exclusivity, just you and him, should never feel like an option. Sure, there are a crop of nervous, shy guys that would employ this game if they fear like they're losing you. But honestly, there are just much better ways of expressing that. Sign number eight is his insecurities become yours. So I did a video recently about how to handle an insecure guy. So if you haven't seen that, I'll link to it above up here. The underlying theme here is that guys that play these mind games are insecure with themselves or they're just insecure about the relationship. For example, they'll want to know how many guys you slept with and then they'll turn around and inflate the number of girls they've been with in an attempt to make you insecure. Or they'll do something like they'll want to trade phones so you guys can read each other's texts and emails, but really what he's doing is trying to plant the seed in your head that he might be hiding something and you should be a little bit more worried than you currently are. Now, if you're not ready for this one, then it might not seem so crazy. But if you do see this one and you are ready for it, you're gonna be like, you wanna look at my phone? You have been like, how many girls? So when it comes to insecurities, just let a guy's insecurities be his own. They are certainly not your fault. They were there before you got there and he needs to address them on his own. And he needs to just own them and take responsibility for them. Sign number nine is he keeps you away from his world. So it's been, I don't know, six to eight weeks you've been dating this guy. Does he keep his workplace a secret from you? Or does he talk about his friends and family but just hasn't made the effort to introduce you to them yet? If he's playing this game of keep away, be forewarned. Now, if it's just been a few weeks, he's not gonna be in a rush to introduce you. Let's be clear. But if you guys are almost at a point of exclusivity and this hasn't happened yet, it may never happen. So now it's been three months and you are completely siloed and isolated from anything that's even related to him. 
That's what we're talking about here. So I would suggest simply express to him that you'd like to meet them. And if he pushes back at all, again, he may not be that into you. Sign number 10, he'll rarely compromise. Guys who are playing games with you in the beginning and just aren't straight shooters with you, you're probably dealing with a certain degree of immaturity there, like we discussed. And immaturity leads to selfishness. So because of that, you might see that he's just not willing to compromise with you on anything. You'll probably end up doing everything that he wants to do, going out and eating at the restaurants he wants to eat at, and so on. No, 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 you don't want any part of that. If you see this behavior trending, it's time to have a little chat with him. Healthy relationships involve a lot of compromise between the two of you. It's a two-way street. Simply point out to him what you're willing to compromise, but if this is gonna be all about him, you've got places to be. Sign number 11, he shuts down easily. People who make minimal effort in relationships can't be bothered with confrontation. It's never the thing. I mean, if he shuts down before you can even get to the heart of an issue, beware. He might even pull the silent treatment with you, which is a juvenile mind game to get you going crazy about like what he's thinking. Guys that are worth your time are going to hear your concerns out and listen to them, even if they don't necessarily agree with them. And if he doesn't hear you out now, he's definitely not gonna hear you out in the future. So just be aware of that. It's how you guys handle confrontation together. That's what's gonna tell you if this guy's a good match for you or not. Sign number 12, he introduces jealousy. I say this one for last because this is the biggest mind game people play with each other and I feel it's the one that should never be instituted in a relationship. I wanna be super clear about the type of jealousy I'm talking about and what this actually looks like here. This actually goes back to sign number seven about him keeping his options open with you. For instance, if he's been dating you for two months and you can't get a date with him on a Friday or Saturday night, girl, he wants you believing that some other girl's got those prime time hours with him. That's what he's thinking. And why? Because he's probably insecure and immature. Don't take the bait, ladies. Things should not be playing out like this three plus months in if he wants you as his girlfriend. It's clear at this point that you're just a number to him. Sad to say. And it's these jealousy games that should be raising the biggest red flags for you. You definitely don't wanna be playing that losing game with him. As I've mentioned in other videos, it's really important that you're seeing a few of these mind games playing out in your relationship, not just one or two. They should simply tell you that something's off and this may not be your guy. And if you were playing these games with him, you better believe I would be advising him to steer clear of you too. Women are just as fallible as men when it comes to playing games. Since the comments have been so much fun lately, I wanna hear from you guys again. So tell me below, what is something a guy said or did that convinced you that he was playing mind games with you? And it could be even something that I didn't mention in this video. Can't wait to read about them. Guys, if you haven't chimed into our conversation, I get back to all comments and they've just been getting really funny lately. So if you found this video helpful, please give me a like below. I appreciate you staying tuned and I'll see you next week.